Hi, my name is Anna Nikipirovic and today I will show you how to make this wonderful Lumi socks. I have made this pair using paint box 100% wool worsted in colorway blush pink and misty grey. But today, for this sample, I will use the new yarn from paint box called wool blend worsted and look at those colors. I love this mustard and the pine green. How lush are they going to be? You will also need four millimeter crochet hook, three stitch markers in different colors. I'll be using pink, blue and yellow. And of course the pattern. The written pattern you will find in the description below. So there will be a link to the pattern in the description below. So these socks are cuff down construction. We will start with the cuff, which is worked in rows, then it's joined in to form a loop, and then we will work the stitches down from there. Then we will work our leg, heel flap, heel turn. Let me show you the beautiful heel turn. I love a good heel turn. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? So we've got heel turn. Then we've got the gusset. You see, there's you've got the creases here, so you've got the gusset. We're going to have the foot and then we will decrease for the toes. Okay? So let's get started. Okay, so to start our calf, we will need to make a slip knot and make eight chains. Also, I'll be working in UK terminology. The US conversions are given in the bracketing abbreviation list and obviously I will also say them in this video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight chains and now we're going to work one double crochet, US one single crochet, into the second chain from hook and then into every single chain to end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we end up with seven double, double crochets. Now we're going to turn, we're going to chain one to give us correct height, and now we're going to work into the back loop of our stitch. So you see this is the front loop, I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. So this is the front loop and this is the back loop. So we will work into the back loop of our stitch. See, so again, now I'll be making the smaller size, which will require 32 stitches. So uh, one, two, three, back loop. Let's see. So when you reach the end, you're going to turn and again, chain one and work into back loop of every single stitch. So basically now we are repeating row number two until we have all together 32 rows. That's for the small size, for the big size, until we have 36 rows, okay? So work on that and I'll meet you back here when our cuff is finished. So when you finish your ribbing, it should look like this. You see, just a long strip with lovely little ridges. So now what we're going to do, we're going to join both ends together. So as before, we're going to join it with go by going to into back loop of our stitch and into the back loop of foundation row. Pull it through and slip stitch. So in the back loop, in the next chain, in, in the next back of a chain of foundation row and slip, oopsie daisy, and slip stitch all the way down until all of the stitches have been worked. So now what we will do, we will work into the ends of our row, so into the stitches at the end of our rows. And we will work in extended double crochet. In US, this is extended single crochet. So to do this, we will insert a hook into the first stitch Yarn around the hook and pull it through. 
yarn around the hook, pull it through one loop only, two loops left on hook, and then yarn around the hook and pull it through both. You see, then we're gonna work into the next one, pull it through, yarn around the hook through one, and yarn around the hook through both, you see? So the extended double crochet, it's a lovely stitch. It gives us a nice, it gives us a, well, it gives us a bit of a stretch, which we need for cro for crochet socks. You see here, I've got a big, a big bit of a loop. So I'm gonna pick up this strands, but also the one underneath. So it gives me a bit more stability. How many do we have? One, two, three. So we have to have, for the small socks, 32. And for the medium socks, we have to have 36. And we should end up with 32 stitches if we work correctly into every single row. Well, into the stitch at the end of our rows, really. Okay, so I'm at the end. I'm going to count down them to make sure I've got the correct number. Perfect, I've got 32. Now, we're not going to slip stitch to our first stitch. We will continue to work in continuous spiral. What you can do is grab your yellow stitch marker and you can place it on the first stitch to denote the beginning of your round. Right, so now, oops, see. So now what we have to do is work one more round of extended double crochets and then we will start our fancy little front post trebles. So finish this round and I'll meet you back here in a minute. When you finish your round, stop one stitch before the end of round. You see my stitch marker here lets me know that this stitch is the beginning of my round and I've got one more stitch before I finish. What I want us to do is change color. So the best way to do it is go into your last stitch Yarn around the hook, pull it through one. You've got two loops on hook. Grab your new collar and finish the stitch with the new collar. Okay, let me take off this marker because now we will begin our front post trebles. So if I show you here, so on this row here, we will work front post treble and extend a double crochet. So front post treble in US is front post uh, double, double, double crochet. And we've got extended double crochet, which is in US extended single crochet. So we will alternate those stitches all the way along the round in a contrast collar. So let's work the first stitch. Do not cut your yarns because obviously you will have to carry them and use them. So we start with the extended double crochet in through both. Place your stitch marker here if you wish, or you know it's your end of the run because the color is obviously different. So now we're going to work front post treble. Front post trebles are, are fabulous stitches and they are going to go around the post of the stitch row below. So we're gonna go yarn around the hook Insert the hook from front to back to front again around the post of that stitch. Yarn around the hook and pull it through. Three loops on hook, yarn around the hook through two and yarn around the hook through two. Perfect. And now we're going to work our extended double crochet. So in, through and through. And then again, we're gonna do our front post stitch here. So I've yarn around the hook into our stitch. So around the post of our stitch, yarn around the hook, pull it through. Three loops on hook, yarn around the hook through two, yarn around the hook through two. Okay, so we continue to alternate those stitches all the way until the end. You see, and our repeat has to end with front post treble because we started with extended double crochet, so we have to end with front po post treble. You see, before we finish our treble, we're going to swap yarns because our next round is in the main collar. 
So when you've got two loops on hook, grab your main yarn and pull it through both of those loops. So finish off the treble in this way. Tighten a little bit. And now again, we're going to repeat exactly the same thing. So we're going to start with front pose. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to start with extended double crochet. Let me just tighten the end here so it's not so gappy. And again, now we're going to go around the front post of our treble. See? And then extend it, double crochet, front post treble. Okay? So work this way until we have six rows all together worked in this way. And we end with our main collar, you see? So this is our end of the repeat and it ends in the main in, in the main collar. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows all together in combination of, ex of extended and front post trebles. Okay? I see you back here in a second when this is done. So when we finish, our work should look like this. So now what we can do, we can cut off the contrast yarn. And now we are again starting to work in extended double crochet only. So into the first stitch, what I usually do with my ends, I usually try to work them into the stitch. So then e, when I'm weaving it in, I just have to go one way instead of two ways. So in, place your marker to denote the beginning of your round. There we go. And again, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of enclose this end for one, so this stitch, so basically three stitches in total. And then when I'm weaving it back in, all I have to do is just weave it again backwards and that'll be done. Okay, so now, only in extended double, double crochet for the rest of your leg. So you will continue to work this way until your work measures either 15 centimeters, so from the beginning of the calf, it measures 50 centimeters, or you will just work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine rows all together, okay? So nine rows for the leg, and the leg will, will be done, and we can start on our heel flap, okay? See you in a moment. So now that our leg is complete, we are ready for the fun part, which is the heel flap and the heel turn. So for the heel flap, we will work in double crochet only, so you a single crochet, and we will work in rows and only on half the number of stitches of our sock, you see? So half and the rest will remain unworked until we need it again. Okay, so let's get started. So, I know I'm at the end of my row. Let me take off this marker. And we will work one double crochet into the next six, 16 stitches for the small sock, which I am making. If you're making the, the medium socks, it will be 18 stitches. So, one, I'm going to place a marker on the last extended double crochet here just so I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15 and 16. Let me just count them to make sure. Perfect. So now I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to chain one and again work one double crochet into every single stitch on those 16 stitches. Right, the reason I place the marker here because I know that the stitch before the marker is the one I have to end, is the end of my 16 stitches. So that kind of gives you a nice little easy guide, okay? So now turn around again, chain one, and double crochet all the way again on the 16 stitches. Now, we have to 
do this, so work in double crochet back and forth, back and back and forth, until all together you have 14 rows for the small sock and 16 rows for the medium sock. So when we finish our heel flap, it should look like this. And now we are ready for the heel turn. So for the heel turn, please concentrate. It requires a slight concentration. So do close your door, put the do not disturb sign on the door and make sure that no one disturbs you when you're doing this. So we're going to work one double crochet into the next eight stitches for the small socks. For the medium socks, it will be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me just check. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to work double crochet two together. So insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull it through, two loops on hook, insert your hook into the following stitch, grab the yarn and pull it through, three loops on hook. Now yarn around the hook and pull it through all three. So that's your double crochet two together. It's a nice decrease. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the following stitch. And now we are going to turn our work. So turn our work, chain one and work one double crochet into the next two stitches one and two and again double crochet two together so in grab your yarn and pull it through into the next stitch grab your yarn and pull it through <clears throat> three loops on hooks uh, three loops on hook yarn around the hook and pull it through all three Okay, and then one double crochet into the following stitch. So now if we look, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got four stitches on a little row. Okay, and again, we're going to turn our work around. So now we are going to work double crochet into every stitch apart from the last one. Okay, so chain one, one double crochet into every stitch, until we reach the last stitch, okay? So now we are going to work double crochet two together over this gap. So we're going to work one leg of the double crochet two together into this, the last stitch and the second leg into the stitch just below here. So insert your hook into this stitch, grab your yarn and pull it through. Now insert your hook into the stitch below here, grab your yarn and pull it through and then yarn around the hook and pull it through all three stitches. Now, one double crochet into the last stitch and turn your work. Chain one and again, one double crochet into every stitch until you reach the last stitch. So don't work a double crochet into the, to the last stitch, stop here. So again, double crochet one, two, three, four. And again, we're going to work double crochet two together over this stitch and this stitch here. See, so we're joining this little gap here. So that's what creates this wonderful curve on our heel turn. So into the stitch and then into the stitch one row below. Grab your yarn and pull it through all three and one double crochet into the next stitch. Turn around and again chain one, one double crochet into every stitch until the last one. Stop here and a double crochet two together over those two stitches here. So this one and this one below. one double crochet into the next stitch and turn. Chain one and repeat exactly the same thing. So one double crochet into every stitch before until you lead, until you reach the last stitch. So again double crochet two together here and here 
and pull it through all three. Okay, so double crochet into the next stitch, turn, chain one, and one double crochet into every single stitch to last. Leaving the last stitch unworked. And you see, you can see now how the beautiful heel is forming. How we're turning the heel, it creates this lovely little cup for our, for the heel of our foot. Now, double crochet two together. On the medium socks, you will still do one double crochet at the I'll after this but on the small size you end with just double crochet two together so turn we've got one more this side to do and that's it and that is our heel turn yeah this creates a wonderful heel well a wonderful place to to house your heel so your socks fits fits very comfortably and double crochet two together and that's it Turn around so you are facing the right side of your sock. And now our heel turn is finished. You see how easy was that? And look how beautiful it is. Okay, so now we are ready for our gusset. So for this, you will need your other stitch markers, the different colored ones. You can take the yellow stitch marker off now. You will need it. Well, you will need it, but not, but not just yet. Okay, so let's start on our gusset. So to start on our gusset, we're going to work one double crochet along our heel turn. So that's the eight stitches. So we are back to eight stitches. So eight stitches of our heel turn. And now we are going to work into the, our at the ends of our row so we're gonna pick up the stitches so we're gonna pick up seven stitches down down this side so one two three four five six seven so again double crochets I usually I don't go through the whole thing I usually go into into the two strands just it will prevent having a large gap so one two three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we are going to place, we are going to place a red marker on the last of the seven stitches. So place a red marker here and now Work on the stitches of your top of, top of your foot, but you work obviously in extended double, double, double crochets here. So we should have 16, on a small sock we should have 16 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay. So that's for the for the for the small size, for the large size, for the medium size, you'll be 18. So now again we have to pick up seven stitches up the other side of our heel flap. So we start with this, so one stitch, and we're going to take our blue marker and place it on this stitch that we have just made. So that's double crochet. So we work. So we're working on the heel flap in double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
three, four, five. Oh, I didn't do enough. Hold on. Let me go back. I did it too close. Actually, yeah. One. Let's go here. Two. Three. Four, five, six, and seven. Let me just have a look. Perfect, seven. So you see now, this now here, this stitch, so this is where, where, where we started. This, this is the end of our heel turn. This now be begin, becomes the beginning of our round again. Okay, so we have to, again, we're working in continuous spiral, but work, so now we're working again in extended double crochets only. So let's work an extended double crochet here. Let's pull it nice and tight so it covers any gap and place our marker here. So this is now the beginning of our round. So we're working in extended double crochet all the way to two stitches before our red, red marker. So extended double crochet to two stitches before the red marker. Okay, so now what we have to do is do our gusset decrease. So gusset decrease, we're going to work extended double crochets two together. So insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn around the hook and pull it through one loop only, two loops left on hook, insert your hook into the following stitch, Grab your yarn and pull it through. Yarn around the hook and pull it through one stitch only. See? Through one loop only even. So again, we've got three loops on hook. Yarn around the hook and pull it through all three. So that is our gusset decrease. So now take off your marker. Work an extended double crochet here. Place the marker back, back, back on it. Now work extended double crochet to the blue marker. So extended double crochet into every single stitch until the blue marker. Almost there. Okay, so now we are at the blue marker. Remove the marker, work an extended double crochet into the stitch. Place the blue marker back on that on the stitch you just made. And now we're going to work again extended double crochet two together. So we're gonna create create a decrease here. So into the stitch, yarn around the hook, pull it through one loop only. Into the following stitch, yarn around the hook and pull it through one loop only. Three loops on hook, yarn around the hook, pull it through all three. Okay, and now just extend the double crochet all the way to the end of your round. So that's the first round of our decrease of our gusset done. So on the next round, we're just going to work extended double crochet all the way around without making any decreases. So basically, when you really reach the marker, when you reach the stitch with the, with the marker, remove the marker, work your extended double crochet, place the marker back on, and do the same way with all the other ones. So then the following round, we will create a, de a decrease. So you decrease every other round until you reach your original number of stitches. So for the small socks is 32, for the large sock is, th is 36. So continue to decreasing the same way and I'll see you back here when the gusset is done. So when we finish our gusset decreases, it should look like this. You can kind of tell, if I show you closer, you can see where you've got the, you, where, you, where you made those decreases. See, so we've got one, two, three. So three rows of decreases. So three, every other row of decreases. On the larger one, you could see there's four. So we've got one, two, two, yeah, one, two, three, four. So four rows of alternate decreases. 
So that's on both sides, okay? So now we can remove our pink and blue marker. And now we continue on to foot. So now we have to work in extended double crochet without anything fancy before we reach the point where we have to make our front post trebles again. So if we look at our work, so we've got one, two, three, four, four more rows of just extended double cro crochet without anything else. Keep your, your stitch marker to denote the beginning of your round if you wish. And I will see you in a minute when our four rows are completed. So when we complete the, the last four rows, we are ready to do our little front post trebles and our extended double crochets. So again, as before, we're gonna stop one stitch before our marker, which denotes the beginning of our round, and we're going to change color. So work your last stitch until you have two loops left on hook. Grab your contrast and finish off the extended double crochet with the contrast. And now we are ready for our front post and extended. Let me just work this into the stitches. So we're gonna start with our extended. So extended double crochet, followed by front post treble. Again, we're going around the post of the stitch below and pull it through. Okay, so now extend it, followed by front post treble. So yarn around the hook, around the post of the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull it through, yarn around the hook through two, and yarn around the hook through two, and then followed by extended. Do this all the way round and then work this with the main with the main collar as well. So we're going to repeat those rows all together. So we have all together four rows. So four rows of of alternating front, 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 front post on extended. So I meet you, and again we will finish with our main collar. So I will see you back here when this four when those four rows are completed. Okay, so now that we have finished our front post trebles and extended doubles, we are ready for one more round of extended double crochet. Let's just cut off the contrast yarn. So it's out of our way. And we're gonna work one more row of just extended double crochets all the way around. Let me place the marker here. Now, make sure, I forgot to say that, make sure when you finish your gusset, make sure you count your stitches after you finish the gusset. Because obviously you need to have, for the small sock, 32, for the large one, 36. So that is very important. So now that we have finished our round of just extended double crochet, we can take off this marker here. We won't need it anymore. Now, what I want you to do is place your sock straight down with the heel. See, make sure everything is nice and straight because this, what we're going to do, that, to do now is place a stitch marker for our toe. So make sure it's nicely leveled up, you see? The heel, the heel here is nicely lying flat. It's nicely centered. See, with the right side, we're going to make sure we will place the stitch marker in the right place. So we're gonna place our pink stitch marker or red stitch marker right here on the edge. See, so that's nicely li lined up with the edge. Okay, so now work in extended double crochet to this marker. So stop before this marker OK, 
Okay, so we're going to work to this marker. So remove this marker. Work one more EDC here, but before you finish, change to your contrast. So change to your con contrast color. Replace the marker. And cut off your main color because now we work only in the contrast. Okay, so now we are ready to create a first round of decreases for our toe. So we will start with double crochet two together. So the toe is worked only in double crochet. That's UK double crochet, US single crochet. So in, into the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull it through. Two loops on, three loops on hook, yarn around the hook and pull it through all three. Okay, so now we're going to work one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect, eleven. So now again, double crochet two together. one double crochet into the next stitch place a blue marker on this stitch you just made and double crochet two together again now one double crochet into the next 11 stitches so one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we should have two stitches left before the the pink marker. So double crochet two together over the last two stitches. Remove the marker. Double crochet into the stitch with the marker, replace it. And your first round of your toe decreases is complete. So now we are going to work a round of just double crochets. So no decreases at all, just moving the markers up as we go. Okay, so there we go. So that's the pink marker. Let's work a double crochet here. Replace the marker. And again, now we come to our decrease round again. So on every decrease round, we, we decrease by four stitches. So two on each side. So we start with double crochet two together. Work to two stitches before the blue marker. Oh, let's just do this a bit tighter. One's a bit too loose. Two stitches before the blue marker, and again work double crochet two together. Remove the marker. Work a double crochet into the stitch. Replace the marker on that stitch you just made. Followed by double crochet two together over the next two stitches. And then one double crochet into every single stitch until we reach, until two stitches before the pink marker. Here we go. 
double crochet two together and one double crochet into the stitch with the pink marker replace the marker so on the next one we're gonna just work double crochet all the way around without making any decreases so you continue alternating the row so one row just double crochet all the way around one row with decreases until you have 16 stitches left okay so when you reach that i meet you back here okay so when that is done we are ready to cut off a yarn leaving ourselves a good tail for sewing up at our toe pull it through so you can now take off all the markers Turn your sock inside out. The toe looks better when it's sewn up on the wrong side. Again, don't worry about the ends, or the ends have to be moved in. Make sure again your toe is nicely centered. Grab the yarn from inside. Grab your tapestry needle. And just sew up your toe so gently stitch by stitch so go into the edge stitches first I usually do it I don't overlock it I just kind of go in and out so into the full stitch and on the opposite side so two legs of the full stitch See, stitch by stitch, that gives you a nicely rounded toe, really. And it's not going to be too hard. Basically, you want you want it to you want to avoid the toe being hard on the inside because obviously you cannot be otherwise you will hurt your toe. But anyway, so let's now just weave in the ends. Do apologize, that's my cat scratching his post. That no that noise just a second ago. Cut it off. Obviously weaving the end at your own leisure. Now if we turn around, we will see that our toe is nicely rounded. You see? It's beautiful little toe, it's gorgeous. And it's nice and soft, so it's not gonna hurt. the top the, the tops of our toe and there you go your socky is completed so this one again was the small size for the larger size it's this one thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy making the socks don't forget the written pattern is in the description below and thank you so much for for lovecrafts for hosting this this video and providing this wonderful yarn and if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you so much